On this week's episode, we take a look at administering templates in Microsoft Teams and discuss exactly what are they, how do they work, and more importantly, what they can do for you. Greetings YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad to see you all. Andy here. Um, today we're going to talk about templates in Microsoft Teams. Now over the last few years when you've created a team in Microsoft Teams, you could create just a blank team or you could create a team from another group. In recent months we've started seeing more and more templates uh, and these are kind of pre-created with different channels and different applications for different scenarios. So for example you might work in a medical profession like a hospital or you might work in IT and need something for incident response or finance in a bank. There now seems to be templates for everyone, but how do you create them? How do you administer them in the admin center? And of, of course, how do they work? Well, I thought we'd take a little bit of time in this week's episode to go deep. So I've got a couple of nice demos which I think you'll enjoy. Now, of course, if you've not subscribed, go ahead, click on that subscribe button, ring the bell, and you won't miss out on the good stuff in the future. And as you know, I love your comments, questions, and feedback. In fact, it's what drives the channel. Um, I'd also like to just point out we just hit 5,000 subscribers this month, and I'm so pleased, and thank you so much for your support. Uh, and continued enthusiasm. It's great. Okay, so without any more jibber jabber, I think it's time to get to the demos. So let's begin. So here we are in Microsoft Teams, and it's part of Microsoft 365. Uh, I've got two screens open here. So one, I'm in the dashboard, and this is the admin center for Microsoft Teams. And the other one is the Teams client. So I thought we'd take a look at the templates from both perspectives. So first up, from the end user perspective. So here we can see a selection of Teams and along with a couple of channels here. Now, um, to create a new team, you basically just come down to the left-hand side here and you say, I want to either join or create a team. Now, when you create a, a team here, you've got a choice. Do you want to create a team? Do you want to join a team with a code? That means if you've got an invite code. And you might say to me, well, you know, Andy, how do I get an invite code? Well, if I just click into sales and marketing here, and you can see I'm an administrator, um, you can see get a link to the team. So that would be the uh, invite code there. And also, if you go into the manage the team here, and if I go into settings, then you can see that we also here can generate an invite code and you're, you could just give that a user and they would then um, be able to create that team. So that is how you basically do that. So um, just coming back here then, what I want to do is we obviously want to go ahead and create a team. So as I said, you can join with a code. The other teams here, you can see these are public groups or public teams. Now, as I've said in previous videos, when you create a team, you also create a Microsoft 365 group and vice versa, by the way. Um, but what we're looking to today is create a team from a template. So we have some options. Now, can I just <clears throat> mention that depending on the templates that you have, some of these are premium templates, which means depending on the plan that you have with Microsoft 365, you may see some or all of these templates, or actually some, maybe not at all, depending on you know whether you're a home user or something like that. So to create a team, you can create a team from scratch. You can take a team from a group or an existing team. So for example, if I said I want to create a team uh, from either a Microsoft 365 group or a team, if I chose a team, you can see here that some of the teams you won't be able to because some of them are private 
or they've got private uh, content in them. Um, but some of them, uh, again, you'll be able to take the content that's not private. Now, of course, you're not actually taking the content. You're just taking the structure of the team. So, for example, if I click on Aberdeen support here, you can see it's saying, OK, what do you want to bring over? Do you want to bring the tabs, the team settings? Um, you can even bring the members across if you want to. That's if you're an owner, by the way. And you can also bring any apps as well. So in terms of the privacy, um, only team owners can add members or you can basically go with a public option, which anyone in your organization can join. So and you can then go off and you can create that team. So what I want to do is just roll that back. OK. And so as I've mentioned, you can obviously create a group or a team from something existing. Or you can actually go ahead and create a team from one of these templates. So these templates, obviously, depending on, you know, the type of business that you are, for example, event management, project management here, uh, some maybe something in HR, um, incident response. This is great. This is a government template here, some kind of crisis management for a financial um, organization. You've got a manager store, you've got retail employees, healthcare. So you can see that there really is something for, for everyone here. Um, and so I can say, yeah, OK, let's go and manage a store here. And what you get is you get four default channels. So you get a store readiness, learning, hand, shift handle, and you can see that you get some default apps as well. Now, do remember that Microsoft Teams includes not just Microsoft apps, but also third party apps as well. And that's one of the really powerful things about Microsoft Teams. So I'm going to click on here and I'm going to say, OK, is this going to be a private team or is it going to be a public team? Well, for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to make it a public team and I'm going to call this my power. Um, I'm going to call this my Power IT Guru Store. OK, so this is my Power IT Guru. I can customize the channels if I want to. So if I want to rename them or edit them or whatever, you can do that from here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on Create. And off it goes and it creates that team for me. OK, so the team is now created. I'll click on close. And now what I can do is there is my power store. The next thing that you want to do, of course, is you want to manage the team. And when we talk about managing the team, of course, you can see that because I created the team, I am the owner of that team. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to start adding some members to our team. So, for example, I'm going to add in Adele. I'm going to add in uh, Bianca, sorry, let's say, uh, okay, let's go with Cameron. Do we have Cameron here? Yep. Yeah. Um, let's say uh, Diego, or yeah, let's say Diego here. And finally, we'll have Alan as well, okay? Um, and there's Alan here. And I'm just going to go and add my four members in here and click on Close. And the rest, of course, is history. Once the team is created, off it goes. You can create multiple channels. And there we go. So that's really kind of creating the team from that basic template. So if I just go back into that, like I said, these templates are really, really nice. And the fact that there's, they're completely customizable. So that's really from the end user perspective. What about the admin perspective then? Well, for this, we need to come into the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. And we go down, of course, into Microsoft Teams. And I've actually got it open here. Now, just before we go into here, I'm actually going to just flip over and I'm going to go into Teams and Groups and Active Teams and Groups here. And as I mentioned, I call this team the Power IT Guru. And you can see it's gone ahead, it's created that Microsoft 365 group, it's created a Microsoft team. I can click onto the group here 
And this is quite important that you do this, by the way. Um, if I click on to members, uh, yeah, it shows me all the members. But if I go into settings, this is really important. So you, if you want the team to be contactable externally, then, of course, allow external senders to email this group, send copies of group emails. And, of course, you can change the privacy here as well. Now, the one thing that you cannot change, of course, and I've said this before, is once it becomes a team, that's it. So essentially, a team is an extended Microsoft 365 group. Why is it extended? Because you can use third party products in here as well. So let's then look at administering the team templates. So here I am in my admin center. I'm going to click on the drop down arrow for teams and in here I'm going to come into teams templates. Now as I've said here is a complete list and this is really useful here because you get a really nice kind of description of exactly what the team is. You can see who published the team uh, template. Now there are hundreds of templates out there and there are quite a number of third party providers who are also providing these templates. It shows you how many channels, how many apps the team has got, and also when it was last modified as well. So you can see that we've got the same templates here. Um, now you might say, okay, is it easy to create a template? Well, just as I showed you in Microsoft Teams, look at this, check it out. It looks like um, you can create a new template, use an existing template, or start with an existing template. So I can go ahead and I can say, let's create a new template. And I can call this my Power IT Template. Um, so I'll just pop that in here. You can put a little description in here and you can specify the locale. Uh, now, my demo tenant is actually here in the US uh, and that's why I'm using this uh, uh, US based tenant. So I'm just going to click on next. As you can see, if you try and click on next and you don't have a uh, sorry, a description, uh, you need to go ahead and put that in. OK, so I'm just going to copy that. And I'm just going to paste that in here and alongside here. But it does help to have kind of a decent uh, description in here. So I'm going to go ahead, click on next, and it says, OK, how many channels do you want? So um, I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to call this, um, let's say, um, support requests. OK, so I'm just going to pop that in here. And support requests, um, is it going to be shown by default? Yes. Um, do you want to add an app to this template? Um, again, for this particular one, I'm going to say uh, no. And I'm just going to apply that and off it goes and it will add that uh, template. You see that channel in here. I can also add in apps as well if I want to. So, hey, you know, Andy's on YouTube. Do I want to add in the YouTube app? Um, so, yes, I will. Um, I might want to add in uh, Microsoft Word. Um, so you can bring in Word or uh, anything else. Uh, now, you see this one's grayed out. This shows me that actually Word is already in there. So you, you get that by default. But if there's any third party ones, then, of course, you would go ahead and add those as well. So I'm just going to go ahead, click on Submit. And you can see I've now gone ahead and I've created this uh, template here. There's my Power IT template. Now, any templates that you create always will go straight to the top, by the way. So this is very similar to um, other Microsoft products. So any kind of new templates that you create will typically go in here. Um, okay, so that's typically how you create the templates. If I go back to one of these other templates here, you can see that this tells me um, a little bit about the template. Um, you can see you've got a nice description in here, how many channels, how many apps. Uh, and again, each template has its own unique ID here. Now, um, again, you can see I've got all the channels. It shows me which uh, channels have got which apps applied to them. So a little bit of planning is often useful here. 
Um, again, I can go into the apps and it shows me which apps are in here as well. And you can uh, click onto them and get a little bit more detail uh, on them as well. All right. So typically really, really easy. Um, and if I just, I'm just going to go back here. Now, the next thing then in our journey of administering templates is, of course, something called template policies. And we have a global policy which contains pretty much all of the templates here. But you might want to create your own uh, template policy um, and then assign that policy along with those templates to your users. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add in, hey, this week I'm in Oslo. So this, this is my Oslo uh, template policy. And I can say, hey, you know, which uh, which templates do I want to show? Uh, which ones do I want to hide? Um, so I can choose, you know, managing event. You know, I want to hide this template. Um, let's say um, manage a store. It's not relevant to me. Again, I'll hide that template. Now, you'll notice that you're not deleting the template. All you're really doing is you're just hiding that uh, specific template here. Um, again, you can put in a description. So again, I'm just going to copy that down here. And once you've done that, I can scroll down and you can see that it gives me a list of those hidden templates there. OK, so I click on save. And now that this is selected, I can now say, hey, you know, do I want to assign this template to any particular users? So again, I could say, um, just click on uh, Delia here. So I'm going to add Delia. And um, I'm also going to add in uh, James. Okay, let's see if we go to James. Nope, okay. Um, and I'll say, okay, in that case, I'll say Alan. Okay. Oops. Okay. Interesting, by the way, when you search for char for uh, names in Teams, you need to search a minimum of three characters, by the way. I should have mentioned that. So there we go. Just a couple of users, Delia and Alex. So this policy, when they now log into Teams, these templates will be the only two templates that they see. And it shows you here which templates have been distributed. And, and it shows you who how many users have been applied there. Now, the other thing that we have here is Teams update policies. Um, if I go into the settings, the default settings here, this is really how often do you want Teams to be updated. And this used to be an organizational wide settings, but it's worth mentioning here because if you, you, if you enable the Office preview, you're gonna get new features updated um, including uh, Teams templates. So there you have it, administering templates, which is now part of Microsoft Teams uh, in Office 365. Now, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would really appreciate a big thumbs up and go ahead, click on that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of the good stuff coming up. And as always, as I mentioned earlier, I love your comments, questions and feedback. So just pop them down below. So that's it for this week. I'll see you next week and you take care and stay safe out there. See you soon. Hey, thanks so much for dropping by today. Here's a couple of videos that you may enjoy. And while you're here, go ahead, click on the subscribe button and you won't miss out.